GM to YouTube. We're doing sulfur nagas. Very HLC content. YouTube mode activate. <laughs> I always talk about getting stats up. So I wanted to talk about these because they're really, 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 really good. I mean, people know about them, but it's lesser known than like crabs. So these are much, much better. Right now I'm getting 120K an hour for strength XP. This is my gear, right? So not exactly difficult to get. These are in the moons area. The reason these are so good and the reason these are such good XP is because these things have a thing called flat armor. They have negative four flat armor. So what that means is per hit splat dealt to them, they take an extra four damage. So that means my minimum hit with the Makas, assuming both hit, is five. That means that's the minimum hit. So every single hit you do is boosted by four. So with, with a two hit weapon, with the boppers, which are Makwa Heatles, you're hitting eight higher every single hit, which is way better than a max hit because a max hit is just rolling to that number. But this is, you get eight damage every single hit. So these are crazy for XP. If you're in max, if you're in max gear with the boppers and full blood moon, Full Blood Moon has an effect where it saves a tick off your next attack if it procs. So it's roughly 3.5 tick attack speed instead of four. If you have that, I've heard of people getting 175k an hour. So that's assuming like max strength gear along with Full Blood Moon is insane. So the other benefit to these is that they're in the moons area. So that means I'm out of potions. You have unlimited supplies here because you make your own. So you have unlimited basically super combat and uh, potions, like prayer potions. Another small thing to mention, these drop this stuff called Sulphur's Essence. When you bring that to this guy, he gives you runecrafting XP. So it's like a passive three to 4K runecrafting XP an hour, which isn't a lot, but considering it's best in slot uh, fucking melee training, like that's really, really, really good, right? So making potions here, you just like grab these. This is the moons area. So if you've done moons, you've done this. You just go grab potions. Very, very easy. So what I do is I grab a full inventory of grubs. I grab a full inventory of grubs. Grind them up. I drop like four on the ground. Four or six. And make sets of potions. The, the big thing with this is the stats these give you is based on your herb level. So to get the super strength effect, the full super strength effect, you need 55 herb. Okay. The other requirement to do this, you want 55 herb really bad. I mean, you could still do them without, but you really want 55 herb. So in an Iron Man, that's kind of annoying. The other thing you need is Moons of Peril quest. Let me just see the requirement. So these stats, 48 Slayer is the main hard one to get. Hard. Not that bad, but fairly simple to get. Okay, and then you have to kill all the moons. So you need that. So 55 herb, soft wreck, and then Moons quest hard wreck is what you need to get here. What do you use here? What are the options? Um, they just added, okay, so you want a double hit weapon. You want a double hit weapon. What are your options for that, right? Double hit weapon for that extra eight instead of extra four, okay? What are your options for that? Well, first of all, they drop sulfur blades, which I believe, I don't remember the drop weight, hold on. One in 450, one in 450, they drop sulfur blades. So they drop a weapon that's good against them. If you just kill them for a while, you eventually get a weapon that's just good at them. The thing with sulfur nagwas, is they are weak to crush, not slash. These are a slash weapon, right? Uh, they don't have very much defense though, so it doesn't matter that much. Like these are still a very solid option. The new thing they added are, and the name is Glacial, Glacial Tamotlis, these. A glacial Tamotlis, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are sulfur blades, but they're crush. So they're the exact same, but they're crush. So these are quite good as well. You get these from the newly released Amoxley Adol boss, or Frost Nagas, which is a different quest you have to go do. But if you get these, they're very good as well, okay? So what you could do, and what I probably would do is if I'm on an Iron Man, I'd probably kill them without a double hit weapon until you get Sulfur Blades and maybe take that over to the Frost Nagas. It's okay on them. They also have plus eight max hit, right? Until you get the Glacial Hammers and use those. The best option though is the Boppers, the Boppers. So these are crush, they have higher crush bonus, higher strength, they hit harder, they are better. They're not that rare from the boss. I think one in a hundred or something. The, the, the glacial hammers, something like that. So these are your actual best weapon. So these hit harder by default. And also, if you have the full set, it says here, you gain Blood Rager set effect, 
It has a 33% chance to attack one tick earlier than usual upon a successful hit, allowing the player to attack again after three ticks instead of four tick. They're normally four tick. Both hits count towards this independently, meaning there is a five in nine chance to trigger the effect. So 50-50. About 3.5 tick attack speed, roughly. So very, very, very strong if you get the full Blood Moon set. So if I was on an Iron Man, I'd probably be hitting these with the hammies. Bop, bop. Until you got decent combat stats. Doing moons until you get the boppers coming back and just like literally maxing combats. Like it's crazy how good this is. It's it's really, really good. Drops, do they drop anything? Because crabs don't drop anything except fossils. That's the only thing you care about at crabs, right? They drop sulfur blades, obviously, but they also drop a huge amount of chaos runes. A huge amount of chaos runes. Um, decent amount of natures, like a useful amount in an Iron Man, and a good amount of death runes. So these runes are huge. Very, very, very good, right? They also drop ores. Not super useful ores, but uh, uh, you can get bulk silver. You can get bulk iron. Silver is good for crafting. Iron is like okay. And then mithril kind of rarely. It's like, it's okay. It's not terrible. Um, this stuff, sulfurous essence, this drop when you get it is worth 20 XP per, per piece, which is 6 to 10. So 20 rune crafting XP per. So 10 of them would be 200. It's very nice. Very nice, it's all noted, yes. So you're stacking up a leech has- These items in the inventory, like I just, you just use up like six inventory slots and you're stacking items. It's really good. They even drop hard clues. Like they're, a they have everything. Now the hard clues are rare, but they also even drop hard clues. Like that's crazy. So there you go. Like they're really, really good. The other thing, one more thing. If you get this item, a ectoplasmator. Yo, Venom with the primer, thank you so much. If you grab an ectoplasmator, you're, a lot of people are going to be like, I don't know what that is. Ectoplasmator is something you get from Soul Wars. It's 250 zeal. If you do the Dolo method, um, I believe it's just under 300. And there's also a boosting clan for Soul Wars. This takes like an hour to grind. And then every kill of these is 20 prayer XP. So, what overall, the whole list is the benefits to these. Peak, 170k you know, one combat style per hour. Like, 170k strength. Feasible. Okay? 5k-ish prayer XP an hour. 5k-ish runecrafting XP an hour. And then good drops. Like, decent drops. Stackable runes, stackable ores, and hard clues. So those are your benefits. Other benefit is no supply cost whatsoever. Unlimited super combat, unlimited prayer for minor input coming over here and making potions. So this is better than anything in Nightmare Zone, it's already better XP. It also gives you passive prayer, passive rune crafting. They have drops, they have hard clues. It's insane. Fortnite Nightmare Zone. These are stupidly OP. Don't nerf, please. <laughs> I love them. They are so, 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 they're ridiculously strong. Everybody should be here. Um, they're also aggressive. So if we go back, no monkey could sell me a car at this point. It's so easy. <laughs> They are aggressive. So there's an area here that has them, but the more AFK spot is in the center of this room. So I always go here to this spot, which has like a more condensed spawn point. The one thing they have going for them, the one mechanic they have, also DDS goes super hard here. Uh, I think Burning Claws might be slightly better, but DDS is crazy good. Has um, the one mechanic they have, which you'll never see because you kill them so fast, um, is they have a prayer attack that drains prayer. Let me see if we see it without piety. Just to show you almost never get it. Okay. It didn't do it there. So after a certain amount of attacks, they use the special attack. If you kill them fast enough, you won't see it. You won't see it. But let's see what it is. You're taking forever to kill this. And then, bam, drains five prayer. So if you're doing enough DPS, you're not going to see that. So if you're lower level, you don't have the best gear, you might run into that a little bit but it's probably gonna be once every like 10 kills or something like that. You'll get drained a little bit of prayer. So that makes them slightly less AFK. Even in this gear, praying protect for melee, I usually don't see it. Like with no boosting prayer, like you don't see it. These are very, 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 very strong. If you're like, I wanna get my combats up, AFKing here is really, really good. Um, or just not AFKing and paying attention and clicking. It's just straight up better than Darrocking, Nightmare Zone. Just straight up better. Nightmare Zone gets you the rewards of herb boxes. So, like, that's a thing. If you're an Iron Man, you can't get those. There's very little reason to do Nightmare Zone anymore. Like, 
just go here. They're just so much better. The only thing is the small requirements of about 50 Slayer and 55 Herb. Just come wreck these. Oh, I wanted to mention as well, if you happen to get, um, if you happen to be doing Barrow's Grind on your Iron Man before going here and get Torag's Hammers, those are worse than Sulfur Blades, but you can use them until then. So those are your best option until Sulfur Blades. So it goes Order of Abyss, the, the Boppers, and then the Glacial Hammers, and then the Sulfur Blades, and then Torags. Those are your, those are your like order of hits, right? Spawned. Torags is five ticks, so it's pretty bad, but it, it's your next best option here. Bopper it, yes. And then Specs, I think Burning Claws are, I haven't tested Burning Claws. I don't know if it actually boosts on the hit splats. I would assume it does. If all three hit splats get boosted, I would assume Burning Claws are the best spec here. Otherwise, it's just DDS if it doesn't boost. I haven't tested because I'm on an account that doesn't have them. But. So yeah, get your stats up. And then, like, join the next finder and do next and get GP. Easy. <laughs> do you pair boppers with the set? Yeah, that's Biss. That is Biss. It's Blood Moon with boppers. So that's what you... Even in max, that's what you want to use. Are mixed hide boots better for melee than combat boots? Um, these are your best boot. They're slightly better than climbing boots. These are your best boot until dragon boots, I believe. Maybe rune boots? I can't remember if rune boots are better. Do they lose aggro? They do. You have to reset them like craps. Ten minutes. Can you train here with an MSB... Two tick attacks aren't bad. If you have a pipe or you're throwing darts, you can. The, the problem is they have this, um, that. Spawned. That's bad. But even with that, if you have decent range gear and a blowpipe, I, I think it was peak like 200k an hour or something. It's like not the worst, but like probably just chin. Oh, other thing, if you're on a hardcore, um, if you happen to be in a hardcore, these hit in two hit splats like that, four, one, so their max hit is five and then six. If you have a ring of life, you cannot die here, which is really nice um, because it procs in the first hit splat. So you can't be killed here, which is nice. Minor, I don't think a ton of people are playing hardcores probably, but worth mentioning. I'm not a hardcore, but I'm pretty hardcore. Does this apply to me? You're hardcore in my heart. Peace, YouTube. Like, like, and subscribe and stuff or something. Dude, the outros just get better every time. <laughs>